There you are. Oh, my Lord. We got you on here, Bushy. Choo, choo, choo. What's All up, right, man? buddy. Not too much, man. We could do a little quick intro, man. How, how's the shoulder? How are we feeling? How was you, Nadella? Give me the lowdown. T4, um, Terraforma 4, excited to do this. Shoulder is a little bit blown out, so we got surgery on Friday. So that's a bummer. I'll uh, be laid up for the rest of the year. But he said I'd be able to get back on my on my bicycle um, after I get out of my swing. So probably about six weeks, be able to get out and start doing something again. But right now I'm kind of just bored out of my tree and um, you know, looking for a two-stroke project to keep, keep me busy this winter. That's awesome. But, hey, you know what? Going off your two-stroke project thing, I uh, picked up an 04 RM125 today. Dude, I saw, I saw that on your store. I didn't know if you bought that or you just found that. And that is sick that you bought that. It's, it's a buddy of mine, and I've been tossing back and forth the idea of, of buying it because I like – I'm a sucker for Suzuki two-stroke. <laughs> I don't know why. I've never ridden an RM125, though. I had that shorty bike, and I was too scared to ride it, so I sold it. So this Oh, is I didn't know you sold that one. Nice. Yeah, dude, I got rid of that thing. I got a pretty penny for it, so I was like, you know what? I'd rather just take the freaking L on that one and move it along. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, five hours on it, frames freaking mint on it. I think I'm just going to do like a Bill's pipe, try and get them to make me a nice stinger silencer, and then... Yeah, yeah. there you go. Do, yeah, do the Bill's, Bill's shit's hard to use your hands on now, though. Like, you didn't even have a website anymore or anything. No. You I think didn't. you got to hit him up on Instagram or something. Yeah, they, they you hit them up on Instagram, and then they give you the email. And I've gone through them a few times, and it's real hard to get a hold of them. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. If it, if it goes through, cool. If not, then we'll go a different Worth route. it. Worth it, though. Yes, sir. So, all right, a little quick backstory. We got Tara from a four. This is a, I think it's a Mike Hatchet film, right? This is his first of Yes, yeah, sir, um, Mike Hatchet. Um, yeah, 98, released in 98, filmed mostly in 97. So, Yep. Yeah, that's usually how they would do them. Film, film the year prior or earlier in the year, and then release. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, all right, man. Um, I'm pretty much. I got the thing queued up here, so whenever you're ready, I'm gonna. Yeah. Go. No. Real quick, I just want to like. I know we always go back and watch these old videos, but I like to ask, or I want to know, like, have you watched anything new lately that's been like, like, kind of caught your eye? There's so much content that gets pumped out nowadays, like as compared to these days when it was like once a year. You know, you get a couple movies, and they were sick. Yeah, I mean now it's you have you have twenty videos a day at the you know tip of your yeah, finger. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's hard to keep track of. It really is. So um, I'm curious to see if you've watched anything good. I honestly haven't watched anything new lately, but I did. I did see something earlier that Bert Moto posted. It's um, I think Wes and Trevor Stewart. They did a project. I don't know if you saw. It's called No. Oh Rose. yeah. Yep. Kyle Kyle Cowling. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And yeah, um, that was a cool video. I have not watched it yet, so I think after we do this this shindig here, I'm going to plug that thing up and give it a watch because it seemed like it was pretty interesting by the yeah, sound of the caption. Yeah, absolutely, so, do it. It's I watched it when it first came out, and it's like touches on the mental health side of motocross, and it's good. It's definitely good. Okay, so the only one that I found I watched um, the other day when it came out was it was actually a Fox Racing video. And it was about the Tennessee Knockout Enduro. It's called Coming to America. I did watch that one. I Dude. did watch that. I, Jordan Hoover filmed it. Yeah, yep. And that that guy, Manny um, Letton Bikler, dude, he's fucking hilarious. Like, he's the funniest dude I've ever, like, really not a vlog type, you know, guy. But that video is hilarious. And it wasn't really a vlog, I shouldn't say, but it, it had some vlog personality, personality to it. Dude, he's yep. so funny. It was amazing. I, I don't even like Enduro. I don't, I've never been to a hard Enduro in my life. There is an Enduro out there that's not hard. I don't understand the difference. But that video is fucking cool. So, big fan. Absolutely, dude. Absolutely. It, it's nice to see uh, at least some personality in this sport because, you know, nowadays it is so uptight. Yeah, no doubt. And then, like, to tie into T4 here, you know, I don't know anything about hard Enduro, but, you know, T4... Unlike the first, you know, three Terraformas, this exposes us to some different kinds of motorcycle riding, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess we'll get into it right now. But, yeah, there's a lot of different stuff that's not just motocross racing, so that's good. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So, all right, I'm, I'm going to freaking click play here. and uh, we'll Yeah, me you. too. I'm, on, I'm at, like, two seconds in. So. Okay. All right, I'm, I'm rolling. I wonder if anybody ever got busted for these copyright laws just because, 
you know, five years in the in the pen and two hundred fifty grand is pretty steep. Yeah, it is. But you know what's funny is there's a bunch of these uh, videos on YouTube. They just I know it's hilarious. Like, where do those laws go? Like, shit gets copyrighted all the time now. Nobody like nobody does anything about it. Absolutely. You know what's cool though is when I was a kid, this was my favorite video. So, yeah. So yeah, we should touch on that. You definitely. This one is one that you brought to the table, and you know this was one that you like that fueled your stoke on motocross and motocross videos. I just remember, all right, so my biggest thing is watching this in front of the big VHS that we have. <laughs> like, dude, it didn't even have the separate, like, um, cassette, if that makes any sense. It was, yeah. like, it was in yep. the TV, you know, and I still have the TV. You know, so <laughs> occasionally. But um, I just I think it was probably tiny, too. Was it, like, 17 inches or something? Probably small. No, it's pretty big, actually. Is it a big one? Like, yeah. It's, like, a... 40 inch something like that i don't know oh damn okay but um just like the heartbeat you know sound yeah, defenders like, of the faith and they yep. jump yeah the slow-mo the, the fox logo coming in and then boom it just right into suck mojo um, yeah they um oh i'm getting ads in three two one ads just pause your shit for a second yeah i'm at the uh, starring Okay. Right, right, um, I'm watching a YouTube TV ad. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, <laughs> sitting at the uh, starring logo with uh, Brian McGavern. I think it's, that's his name. He's about yeah. to blast the berm. So whenever you get there, I'm going to click play and keep going. Okay. I just got Metzger jumping. Okay. Yeah, you're a little behind me. That's cool. I'm one, 134. You're 134. I assume you're, watch I assume you're watching this on YouTube as well. Okay. I got yeah. Brian McGavern now. And that step down is as made famous by Travis Pastrana, who jumped that and Cressy Demons and broke his wrist. No, I don't think that was the same one, actually. Oh, it wasn't the same one? No, I don't think so. I, I want to say it was, they called that jump the diving board, and that mm. was at Beaumont. They're both at Beaumont, though. Oh, okay. Right. So, well, either way, if you, if you, I don't know, if something goes wrong and you wheel spin off that and you nose dive, like you're, I don't know, you're toast. And the odd you wheel spinning out there, too, I mean, the dirt is so hard packed and cast. I know. The dirt, the the dirt looks like junk, but it's cool. I don't know. Those guys, I pretty rad stuff. Like, everything in video makes it look small, and that stuff is, is burly. And they're doing it on some old two strokes that, like, oh, spin yeah. in their wheel, you know? Absolutely. I mean, and I like, too, I like how Fox would include a lot of guys we haven't heard of, you know? Right. Yeah, there's, um, yeah, there's more Fox riders out there then than there are now without a doubt yeah like they had the Andy Bauer guy um, Guy, Guy Perrette Guy Perrette is freaking sick he's in a bunch of videos actually but, uh, yeah I, I watched him so freaking burly he would just bomb <laughs> everything you know he'd never yeah. had style. if there's any like commercial of Canada it should just be this it should be Guy Perrette just bombing through some woods yeah. like Stink Myers I think this is 98 97 is right around the start of shift yeah yeah, that's what so we're getting. Good, we're definitely getting off. some baggy pants vibes here from Terry Hart and from from Stink Mars. Yep. Yeah, I need to hit that huge jump. That's uh, that's where all the guys used to go for uh, practice for freestyle. That's that was like uh, a <laughs> place or something like that. Yeah. Yep. Guy just got, uh, the guy just got hit in the head with his hill climb bike, and this shot's cool here, where they where he jumps and he jumps right in front of the sun, so you kind of like you know lose the sun for a second. Yeah. So I always like that shot. Yeah, that's. And then you got uh, forty five. You got Chronicle number seventy. And it was um, like a, Mike Craig. Gator back. Mike Craig. Yeah. Maybe not Mike Craig. I don't know. Not a lot, a whole lot of racing in this one. This is more of a freestyle and other types of motorcycling vibe video. Where the first three were definitely more racing centered. Yeah, and I think that's what I like about this so much is, is you can see like okay, the Fox Brothers did you know, P1 through 3, you know, and they were very, you know, straightforward, you have your racing section, and I think, too, it was before freestyle, and right around 96, 97, I think that's when free riding and, you know, Krusty was really becoming yeah, a yeah, yeah. So, thing, so they were definitely changing with the times, which I think is cool, you know, they, they weren't sticklers about, oh, we have to just be racing, we can right. sponsor other guys, I mean, like, St. Mars, he never raced an outdoor, like, you know, Gary Hart did, but, you know, he transitioned to freestyle. Yeah, um, and I know, think like they, like, you know, you can't ignore the success of Krusty, so it's like, well, you know, you kind of got to follow suit if you want to keep, you know, I don't know, keep relevant, I guess. 
Yeah, and, and you know, it's, I feel like the relevancy of back in the day was much, I don't want to say it was easier, but I mean, like, I feel like, it w- yeah, it was a bit easier to follow because there wasn't, you know, Instagram or uh, YouTube. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't change mean. so fast. This is an all-time part here. Oh, the McGrath here, part? McGrath, yeah. I mean, the guy's, the guy's style, I mean, it can be said a thousand times. But this song goes so well with it, too. And I think this is one of the, like, first times in a Fox video that kind of a, you know, like a rap song got used yep. in an yeah. edit. Caught up in the game by Infinite Math. That's what this Yeah. Is. Yeah. This is, and, and with anybody's flow, you know, like, it, it doesn't work for Sink Myers. Like, it wouldn't work for his part. No, nope, But it works for McGrath because it's just, you know, McGrath. Right there, the no footed whip is so burly. Like it's, I don't know, it's it's, it's special. It's, I don't know, I, you can't. You know, how do you describe style? It's, it's just Jerry McGrath on a YG250. <laughs> exactly. You know what's you know what's funny? I want to go back on touching on style and song choices because you know, as you probably can relate to this as well, because you're starting to edit for uh, the World of Echo Film Fest. Um, you know, you picture, you know, you say you want to shoot a certain scene or whatever it may be. And you picture who you want in it. You're like, okay, this person's style is going to go good with this rap song or this punk rock song or this freaking Limp Bizkit song, whatever it may be, you know? And Dude, it's, it's so fucking hard. <laughs> it's, it's hard, but, but you know exactly that feeling when you yeah. get that right idea. You're like, okay, that'll work. That'll, that's it, you know? Yeah, exactly. And I said, I, you know, when I'm listening to, like, listening to music on my way to work, I'm like, okay, what style? Like, who, who, could, I, who could I film this and, you know, put this song to? You know, I always like thinking about that. And I definitely, you know, the song choice is very important in, in video. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, freaking literally. I mean, if you could have a, like a banging soundtrack, you know, the video can really not even be that good. And right? It, yeah. It, it'll be like, but the soundtrack was awesome, you know, because the soundtrack made saved the video, you know. Whereas, you know, this video though, the soundtrack amazing. Right. So even even twenty three, twenty four years later. Yeah. Well, I think still yeah. Amazing. I think these videos have so much influence on on young people. I, it, you know, as you know, it influences their music taste, their the bikes that they like, the gear that they like, all that stuff. Like it's massive. Exactly, and I think too, right, right around this time, um, gear stuff was like a lot of gear companies just coming into play. I think No Fear came in right around. Yeah, now. right. Yeah, right. You right know? around this time, and it's you know, there's a ton of Fox riders that are going to No Fear, which is really interesting. Yep. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, it's just I, I like the simplicity of the later '90s or the latter '90s, and then into the early 2000s, it was you know McGrath with the freaking lampshade, you know Bell Moto it was 9. Amazing, it was and amazing, it, dude. The the kit was just unreal. Yeah, but I mean we're, we're going off topic. We got to jump back in. We got I know. bombing this freaking hill in the middle of somewhere <laughs> in Canada. That's what it's been. Somewhere in Canada, nobody yep. knows. Kevin Wyndham's style also goes great with that song. And Kevin's style has not changed from like when we watched him at uh, Moto Fight Club last year to now, like to you know '97. Like he's got the same style. It's so sick. Yeah, but yeah, Guy Perot has it's like Canada off-road motorcycling vacation. Like that's what his jersey was that he was putting on. It was like his logo. And yep. I did a little bit of research. It was just cool, like. We literally take people on on these trips and just go out and ride them around in the in the freaking woods in Canada. Um, uh, it was really cool, like uh, you know, kind of you know, that's just probably how this guy makes his living, you know, riding motorcycles and <laughs> doing crazy shit on a KTM. You know, he's just like, dude, like <laughs> he's out there. I would not want to go freaking riding in the woods with this guy, you know, like as no. riding those would be, be like, all right, hey, listen, uh, we're pretty far from the truck. How's everybody on gas? You know? Dude, straight up, yeah. Or if you God forbid you crash and you, you know, you're out, you were out there. Like you could tell how far out there you are right now. Absolutely. If they can't pick a town to call it, they just say somewhere in Canada. Yeah, exactly. Like if they're in the middle of nowhere. You know, he's going through this field. Right? He's going up up the hill. They have a huge hand shot. You yeah. Know? Just, you could you can get an idea of how vast that area was. You know? Yeah, or Canada's it, beautiful, man. You know what? Uh, fuck it, I'm gonna call a guy. We're gonna do a little trip. You down or what? <laughs> yeah, let's see if he's still doing it. He's probably like 60 now or something. Yeah, probably. He's probably, dude, I, he's probably so still fast. 
I hate to cut you off with the big yard sales in here. Are, are yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I don't know yeah, where that guy was planning on landing anyway. I have no idea. Like, it, that was not a smooth landing. That was not, I, I don't know how that was going to work out. They're like, all right, Bobby, you're going to freaking go off this jump here, and there ain't much to <laughs> land, but, I mean, it's a 45-degree angle, so you're probably going to make it at some point. Like, hey, we're going to put you in the video if you, if you manage to land it one of these times. So. Yeah, that was one of, it was a... It was one of the dudes who was on the off-road tour. He's like, oh, I'll get in the video? All right, sounds good. <laughs> like, that shot was so cool. His hands, like, guy drops down that hill, and they pan the camera, like, underneath of his bike. Yep. Yeah, I wanna, I would like to know the backstory of how that was shot, you know? Like, did they... Uh, was that a gimbal? Was that an early gimbal? Was gimbals around then? I don't know. My film, I don't, my film I don't knowledge is me. I, I know, like, they shot... They shot these videos... I want to say they shot them on Bolexes, like the older crank ones that I have. It'll show you at the end of the video. I, I'm not entirely certain, but I, I know that with having a Bolex, you have your, your perch on the front of it where you have three different lenses. So, I mean, you could definitely get a lens where you could sit underneath somebody and get that shot. Oh, uh, okay. You know, so it, it is possible yeah. to get a close-up, you know, where I... <laughs> this guy just gets shit whipped by the way. I always remember seeing that when I was younger, man, like, man, how is he even alive, you know? <laughs> and I remember, like, you know, I thought it was cool how, like, i never seen anything, like, with a, you know, a helmet-mounted camera before. I remember seeing right. like, the rental bar patch. I, like, I know, my uncle, I remember riding on my uncle's, I just got ads again, ads in three, two, one. Oh, maybe pause for a second. I'm you have YouTube what? Premium? How are you not getting ads? I don't know, man, I'm on Chrome right now, and I'm... I don't really mm -hmm. get add too much on these videos, which is kind of funny. I get them on all the stuff that I really like need to listen to. <laughs> okay, I'm back now. I'm at Vegas. I'm watching Vegas happen. Are you watching the time lapse of them? I'm watching the kicker trucks come out. Okay, I'm, I'm like a second or two ahead of you. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we got Kerry Hart, thumbs up. Kerry spelled up. correctly in this video. I'm like, yeah. Three. Dude, yeah, that is I'm a gnarly hit right there. That's a big jump. That's yeah, gotta be over 100 feet, you know what I mean? It's, yep. Shift cotton jerseys. You know what's crazy, Hot too? Is, is, you know, I have a few old school type of gear, and that gear is so fucking hot. Dude, it's, it's so heavy. I have a set of no fear gear from 90, 99, and it is so heavy. The pants are so thick. It's, I'm like, how do people wear that? You know what's crazy? So they would cut slits in those jerseys, right? Like, yeah, that was all sick. I always like that. Got broken clothes just in case that jump around. But anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, they would cut they would cut clips in the gear and stuff, and they still do that to this day, you know, right? Because you know, no I matter how slight, looks. I don't really think so. Much, <laughs> I've done it and it works. Like it works yeah. pretty good. Um, but I mean, it's, it's freaking crazy how uh, what I was going with is Jeff Emig raced uh, Troy National back in '97. Yeah, I one one that podcast. Yeah. Dude, homie's wearing a full black set of shift gear. I think he had a black helmet, black Arnett goggles, black cotton gloves, jersey, black cotton gear. shift jersey, and he sweeps at one one. What a freaking animal! And it was like I think the heat index was like 110 that time. Yeah, Absolutely. gnarly, dude. And, and right now we're in the middle of like Ohio summer, and it is brutal. It is so goddamn humid right now. It's like you yeah. can't, you just can't get away from it. I don't know if you saw. I'm, you know, I'm gonna go off off here, but uh where he does the whip in front of the sun and then Dusty Walters comes in. Yep. Yeah, right there. I got Dusty Walters in. That was super cool. And, and I think, too, you appreciate how difficult it is to shoot something like that on film because you got to get your aperture right and all the right kind of film in there. If you got the wrong right. line, it'll just, it looks like shit. So it's that right. that's yeah, to get the color, Yeah, to get the color correct on that is impressive. Absolutely. And that's awesome, dude. Almost weed themselves. <laughs> drop off. I really like that gear. That gear looks really good on a Yamaha. This guy's on a 125 too. Like those are some burly hits for a 125. Yep. Yeah. But that was because of the same gear that McGrath was wearing, actually. Yeah, it was. You know what's funny is I always hated this part. Yeah. And I, 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 <laughs> I don't like, like the song. I like the Primus song, but it's like something about it was like, okay, all right, you know, Donner Summit, this and that, like. Get me to the next part here. This stuff bullshit. Yeah, out. Like, yeah. I never really found trials too impressive until I got older. Um, yeah, I've I never ridden a trials bike, so I can't talk any shit. Yeah, when you're a kid, it's like, yeah, I can't. Next, like, I'm just going to box. You know, that's not that hard. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you're, yeah, when you're an adult, you're just like, yeah. okay, this is pretty, pretty good. But I do think this part runs on a little long. It does. Definitely. I think if it was maybe around like, I 
like a minute and a half to two minutes. If it was right around 45 seconds to a minute, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, cut like, this shit in half. Like, show us the cool part. Yeah, I like all these guys. I like these guys. I like how they <laughs> tone back the audio a little bit and they add some voiceovers. Like, yeah, to get people cool. whistling. Yeah. Like, I, I thought that part was cool. And, and I yeah, think you can all, hear those bikes, those bikes spool up a little bit, you know? Like, I just dump the clutch and just go up a fucking rock. Yeah, 90 degrees. Funny, yeah, you know what's funny is those bikes are like 250 cc, you know? I know, yeah. Yeah, they're, and, they're super crazy and they're... Yep. Yeah, yeah they, they those have... Those tires like, are wicked. Yeah, they're pretty gnarly. Dude. I mean, they, they have like a five-speed gearbox. It's the same. It's the same as a two fifty-two stroke. Oh, this guy wads up. It's just gnarly. <laughs> it's you know what's crazy too is even watching them crash. They're so calculated when they fall. Right. Yeah. This guy looks like. I'm sure there's some slams though. There's got to be. Some. Yeah. No. Absolutely. But I mean, like, you know, they're so balanced that I mean, I feel like they they know exactly what to do when they're right. gonna eat it. You know, it's pretty cool. Right. right? Those fools wear open face helmets too. Like, I, no way. I, man. I wouldn't do that, man. It's like you know, I those guys are missing. Got to be missing teeth. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I'll wear a bicycle helmet on my hip like sometimes. And I'll go <laughs> right. Yeah. And I'll be like, I get nervous about that. And I'm like, you know, what am I doing? This is stupid. Right. Yeah. I'm just asking to knock some teeth out. Absolutely. But yeah, I mean, like, right, right around here, like, I'm, I'm kind of wishing, like... Yeah, dude, I've checked out. I'm, I'm, I, I've I'm checked out. I'm, I'm I don't know if these, any of these fools are wearing Fox gear, to be honest. Like, It doesn't look I, like... It looks like... I, I can't find it. I really can't find it. I don't even know like what they're wearing. Some, I'm trying some to look. Some Fiasi and some That's weird right. ass, like... <laughs> yeah, just, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no clue. The colors all look cool. Like, I respect the colors. They're, yeah, they're cool. It's, it's almost like the pants are leather, though, in some of the spots that you really want. Yeah, them. yeah, I think they're more like a flat, trucky, leather type stuff. Yep. This next song right here. Bro, oh, this fool's wearing my khakis on the podium. Like, what do you expect? Yeah, this song goes off, and this whole part goes off. I like how they, like, do they got the tire jump and stuff like that? And stuff I know, like, that's cool. Really you know, something <laughs> about... But man, what, I, I'm gonna look this song up because I know it. That guy's box trick, by the way. That was half few minutes ago. You know, Brian McGavern, he wrote for Team Husky when they first came out, like, 01. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, he was number oh, one. Poor guy. DKNY. DKNY. I mean, did you know what? They, the bikes were shit, but they were so cool looking. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely really cool looking. There's, Let's see I about this. I don't do enough no footers or no handers. In, you know, in my life right now, I need to do more of the Absolutely, dude. Freaking, he just did the drop off. He's freaking real. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly where I'm at. You know what, too? I kind of like, even though they had Dusty Walters in this in, in the two previous parts, I still like how they gave Brian his own section. Because yeah. I feel, like he, I feel like he deserved it in a sense. Like, this this section was badass enough to have his own song, have his own editing. I always thought hitting that berm with that chocolate cake dirt was so freaking sick. Yeah. Yep. You know? And then him wheeling onto the stand with the film all over exposed. Yeah, that's really cool. And he pops the stand up. Yep. And then you. Yeah, the I really like the spot. Yeah. You're right. It does. Like he does deserve his own. Cause he's got good style. He's just got good style. That's yeah. right here, and he fucking eats we, it, we dude. himself, dude. Yeah. And I remember, that front wheel's got to be blown up. Absolutely, dude. I remember seeing like when they pan up and seeing like how mangled and cut up he is. I remember seeing <laughs> his face, and I'm like, holy shit, he's young. I know, I'm like, yeah, that guy, that guy, that's not what I was expecting when I saw that No, guy. not at all, like, I, I was expecting some burly dude, he, he paint up and he's this, this 16-year-old kid, you know, who's, his, I think the story was his bike locked up off that jump and stuck there or something that's like that. That's what it looked like. And, uh, and a little bit of roadkill, a little bit of roadkill thing. That was a cool shot there when he's pulling up the dust with him. I don't know if that face is just straight powder or what, but he that's, pulls up like a lot of dirt with him. That's what I was saying. I, I like the ending too. Like the ending was just as good as the intro. Yeah, yeah. You go back off and then it jumps. Dude, right so this part it. here, like, okay, let's cut that trials part in half and give me more Yogi. Give me more Yogi on a CR250 in Georgia, please. <laughs> Absolutely, it, it looks like probably a '98 preseason test too. Right. Yeah. This, this is. is you still want a yeah first year on. yeah first year aluminum frame '97. These bikes were turds. Dude, they, they looked... For back in the day, that bike was futuristic. 
Oh, it was absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I, I just don't think, think yeah, it, I don't think everybody's ready for it. No, it's, it's like the Cannondale, you know, like it's right. like a piece of shit that thing is. It's, <laughs> way way ahead of time. Nobody was ready for it. You know, it was way too ahead yeah. of time. Look at Yamaha; they're twenty years ahead, and they're just doing the same shit that they were trying to know it through. Yeah, exactly. So this yeah. fool here, Tech, he is a snowboarder, and I. This guy comes. He's got to be a Mike Patrick contact, because Mike is the founder of Standard Standard Films, and they're a snowboarding filmer. Okay. So Text is like, because I always wondered how this random snowboarding, like this dude bombing down a fucking avalanche, happened. But uh, yeah, Mike Patrick being a snowboard background, um, yeah, called in his buddy Tex. <laughs> Tex, we have uh, we have the perfect part for you. He goes, all right, now I'll bomb that hill. We can talk about it in a month now. We'll yeah, hey, Tex, people, people hey, Tex go do a no hander lander, and then you're gonna jump off the mountain. He's like, yeah, you got a chopper. He's like, no, you gotta walk all the way up there. <laughs> um, uh, you know what this part like? is fucking cool. The heart of the game is far where yeah, dude, it's just. Yeah, those helmets are not DOT or Snell. There's no mitts in those. Most of these fools don't even have helmets on. Yeah, they're over there. He's wearing a leather condom on his head. He's like, all right, go to this burning board. And, uh, dude, look at this next clip where he's like walking. This dude is so concussed. Are you kidding me? He's, he's like, I'm getting ads again. He's like, well, we hang on, just pause it. Can get a double? <laughs> dude, yeah, he is out there. He is concussed. That is some concussion syndrome. Symptoms. Absolutely. You know what's funny is this is a Black Eyed Peas song. I know. I saw that when I was looking through the, through the set list. I was like, what's going on? And I go, man, what the hell happened? Okay, what what um, time are you at right now? I'm at 2107, 2108. I'm at 2122. All right, let me, let me catch up with stuff. I'm going to pause. I'm at 2125 right now. All right, I'm at 2129, so go ahead and hit play. Right. You know, I want to go back a little bit to talk about sex, you know, because this, this part's pretty straightforward and there's a lot of just, just the same shit. Yeah, dude, yeah. same thing. Hill climbing, too much hill climbing, not enough yogi. Yeah, yogi. exactly. Um, but I did want to talk about how they had sex. In the, I like how they had snowboarding in there, you know, like, because there was no moto video at the time that had anything different other than, okay, jump, trick, jump, right. you know, skate drop, mm-hmm. super cross, uh, okay. You know, what's up with the right. snowboard guy? Like, that hill's pretty sick. Like, he bombed the mountain. I, I guarantee you, some moto guys can relate because a lot of guys I know, they snowboard. Yeah, dude, action sports, I mean, we're all... This is kind of early when all, like, action sports are figuring themselves out. Like, yeah. eventually, it's like X Games and, you know, all these themes are together, like skateboard, BMX, like, everything's together, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, yeah, I think this is, like, him, you know, giving a little shout-out to the snowboarding snowboarding guys and kind of showing his background was was cool mm-hmm. absolutely and you know what i was gonna say i was gonna make a suggestion i don't know if you ever seen uh the fox video air raid i have not seen air raid i, I want to I, I have a list of like fox videos that came um in one of the vhs tapes i bought and air raid is on that list and i'm like damn i need to get my hands on that and watch that yeah, I, I could, I could, I have the uh, Fox Racing. It's like an algorithm or whatever it is. It's like all the Fox videos on one DVD. Ah, oh, what? Is that cool. I'll have to send it. To you. I found it on eBay, dude. I got it for like ten bucks. Oh shit! And uh, so I'll have to send it over to you so you can watch it. But uh, it's there's everything in there. They have skate, moto, BMX, snowboarding. I mean, dude, the, the snowboarding part in that thing is so sick, man. They're like jumping the freight train. It's, it's, it's right. Yeah. yeah, snowboarding. Yeah, snowboarding was a big influence on motocross videos to begin with. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, the filming style. That's really what it was. You know? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Finally, we got some fox gear in here. This hill climbing fool. Yeah, these guys are crazy too. Like those bikes probably have so much custom work into them, so much time, and they just drop them down hills. Dude. Me, yeah, who, yeah I mean, who are those guys that are hanging on the side of the hill with fucking hooks? Like, are those guys getting paid? Like, what is the deal? Are they just fans? No, they're, like, they're all right, we'll grab the your bike. They <laughs> donate their time, and uh, there is no workers' comp. Yeah, and they're donating their time and their fingers, like getting caught in chains and spokes. Fuck that. I'm out. Dude, a lot of those guys run like crazy scoop tires, or at least they did, you know. I, I think it's out <laughs> now. I don't know, dude. I, you see some of the stuff Josh Hill does, and you're like, that bike does not seem safe. No, no, no. I mean, you ever see that movie, Children of a Metal God, uh, Redemption? It's like, yeah, yeah, I, one. yep, yep. You have? Yep. Okay, yeah, because they had Travis Whitlock, who's freaking sick he's in terraforma seven too and uh 
Dude, he had like some crazy freaking FZ 1000 motor and this crazy frame. It was pretty nice, but yeah. Not safe. First off, I need I need Metzger's, um his Fox racing uh, fedora right there. That thing oh is so God. sick. I always thought that dude has the sickest spot. He still does, you know. He's an old he guy. He still does. Yeah. I just like the fact that how fucking crazy this dude was and how willing he was to try anything. Dude, just and great bike skills. I mean, it never looks squirrely. It honestly never looks squirrely. You and know what? Takeoffs are squirrely. Like all yeah. these jumps are squirrely. Like, look at that. I mean, that is that 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 face is straight up, and he, he, you know makes it look smooth. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, did he hit the freaking the ninety degree hit? Takes his hand off. Yeah, I love <laughs> the shot of him jumping into the woods. Oh, like, right? Yeah. I I like how these they're so old, but you know they do stuff that now would be considered goony, and they don't even look goony. Yeah, I don't. I know. I, Styles changed so much from um, you know what what it was. The shot of him dropping down in the woods is, is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And it, I like how they kind of with every one of these bits, it was kind of a confirmation confirmation video. Um, right. Whereas you know they had multiple locations in one scene, for example. Yeah. Yep. Um, they got him jumping the picnic table. There's like there's just the right amount of B-roll. You know, like you're saying, he's jumping the picnic table. You know, you got Testament. I listened to this song earlier in the car, dude. Testament, a demonic refusal, right? It's good song. Good song yeah. for this part. Like, for Metzger, like, if there's any way to describe Metz and showcase his style, it's with this song. Like, him, him <laughs> bombing through him bombing through that, that single rut up that thing when when it hits the chorus, like, and the dude's screaming, like, <laughs> attacking is something different. I don't know. Yep. Looking some BMX trails. Shouts out BMX. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean that's that's another thing too. That's another B roll. I mean he's, he's hitting the, the bike jumps and all that stuff. And yeah, I mean, Fox, shows Fox has, has some talent. like this is right before mountain bikes kind of pop off. And Fox does um, their chain smoke video. So. Yup, yeah, chain smoke was oh one. Was it? Yeah, I just I just recently got it on VHS and watched it. It's a great video as well. Okay. A lot of good music in that one. Absolutely. I mean, the the mountain bike videos are, are are cool, but they don't really. I can't really relate to them too much. No, they don't. They don't. They don't do it for me. Like I ride mountain bikes, no. but it's not. They don't do it for me. It's not the same as a motocross video. It, I don't care any of those. It, yeah, it doesn't hype me up as much as as like seeing Metzger throw a freaking one foot at Saran Wrap at some guy's back. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know, another shot of that wall jump. I mean, did he's pretty much totally cocked sideways off that thing? And... Right. God damn it! I'm getting ads again. This ad thing is going to have to... In the next video, I will not have ads. I'll have to get YouTube Premium. I'll tell you what, I'm going to skip right to the chili part. Chile? Right to where it says chili. Yep. I'll be there in just a second. Plane, the plane for me is just about to take off. Yep. That's where I'm at. Go ahead and play. Landing gear is going up. Yep. Yeah, they're going up for me too. So I, I thought this part was cool. I thought I liked how they had the map in there. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of Jared's videos you now, where yeah. he'll, you know, he'll he'll throw a little drawing or something in there, and it'll show like, oh, we're going here to here. You know, it's, yeah, it's just, yeah, that animation is cool. It's it's so simple, but it, it's so straight to the point. That's right. Like. Yeah, that's cool to tie that into a, to an actual video. Edgar Torrentera is like this is. I always think back to. I know, yeah. I always think it's cool, like, I, I don't know. His style is, like, you know, you can't, like, now, you know, people can get on YouTube and watch motocross videos, and I feel like the style has changed so much for that reason. Yeah. But it's, like, he had style, and, you know, he couldn't watch those videos, you know, like, like the same way that we can today. I wonder who he looked up to when he... I know, that would be interesting. I'd be, yeah, curious to ask him to uh, find more out about, you know, his background. Absolutely. You know what's you know what's cool about this is is they hit this you know filming uh, journey whatever it may be you know whenever they did this they hit it on the perfect de- time because everything's wet. Yeah, you know? yeah. All the dirt's wet. I mean, dude, he's got wet sand dunes. I mean, you and I both yeah. know like if it rains in like Glamis or something like that, it's very special. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. It's prime prime time. You know, I've always liked red gear on Kawasaki. Like red gear on Kawasaki's and Yamaha's always look good, and this kit is definitely on point. 
How about him bombing through the surf on his KX250? And, you know, it, it's sick, but now as I'm older and work on my own stuff, I go, man, that's yeah. a, you need to wash that up. Yeah, that bike is roached. Yeah, the trans is done. Bike. Bearings done. Cases, dude, <laughs> frame, too. Frame, everything. Oh, uh, yeah. It, get, it corrodes everything. It's crazy. You got that poor that bike. Is. I just like how simple it's edited. You know, it's it's like how simple it's straightforward. You, right. know, you get your crash team here, you get your little bit of B-roll, you got like the little lens flare in front of the yeah. and it's, <laughs> the you know, you horse got horse drive a pickup truck. Yep. The horse the back and pick up. <laughs> Normal day in Chile. You know, Andy Andy Bow Bowyer, is that what you last time? Like, yeah, I don't know. Do you got some head shake at the bottom of that hill though, I know that. Franken dude. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see the tires going down there too? Like, dude, what if you just smoke one of those tires? <laughs> you know, no footage, but some whip, you know what I mean? Like, they, they have style too. Like, I don't know if it's too yeah. race. Or... Oh my god. Oh, when you <laughs> get in the cliff jump and he lands and he thing. Oh, yeah, then get, the yeah, get on the front wheel. Can you imagine if he car wheeled the bottom of that thing? That was, not, that was not intentional, I'll tell you that. Yeah. You know, and you know, going back to how like the dirt looks, man. Like I could just picture myself making a track up and down that hill, man. Like, oh, be there all yeah. freaking day. That's a, yeah, that's a really cool. You know, it's not a perfectly prepped motocross track, and I think a lot of people can relate. Like, we can't always go ride a perfectly prepped track, but we can go ride something like, that looks like this. You know? Did you ever think that that jump that he tried? was just absolutely ridiculous. You know, it shows two angles of it. It shows from the bottom and from, you know, a long distance view. Uh, yeah, I don't... That was the I worst would, case scenario, even... though. That was the worst case scenario. Like, you could not case that any worse. And he's... Yeah, no, he's not doing well. <laughs> no. I uh, think, too, when you watch it as a kid, you don't really understand, like, getting hurt and stuff like that because unless unless you got hurt a lot but right you know, yeah, I, I, really I, I never did really I never did I was neither did I you know I like the time up man but like you know I never really got hurt as a kid so like to me seeing this guy limp around I'm like oh, he's, he's probably fine you know and like then when you get older you're like man like he, he got fucked up <laughs> yeah his legs blew, yeah, his ankles blown out like, like those, he probably those really boots were not good legs. boots no and you're right so I'm jumping into the ending now I kind of like how this video is a little shorter than Terraformer 3 yeah, yeah, the ending is pretty abrupt, yeah. which I'm kind of like, oh, that kind of sucks. But. Yeah, it is a bolex, actually, now that I, I just saw that. Uh, oh, nice. Probably, right probably a reflex. But, uh, there you go. I like the B-roll in there. I do, because it shows, you know, they're traveling. I don't know if that's Mike Metzger's daughter we're talking about here. You know, he's showing the books, too. But, but like, you know, it's, it just shows everyday life, you know. And, yeah, and I wish, song, yeah, I wish... This stuff would get sprinkled into the video more. Like it, I always like B-roll. I'm partial to B-roll. You make the video a little longer and give, give me some more of this stuff that you're sprinkling in now. You know, absolutely. I'll just save it for the end. But you know, at the same time, I think it makes the end of the video seem a bit like more upbeat. You know? It's yeah, that's true. Because you know, terrible. And it makes you watch. Makes me watch the end of the video, I suppose. Exactly. Like so, you know, Terra from a three. Um, it's kind of somber, you know. You watch, you like, oh man, it is so bad. Weird. Yeah, the song, yeah, the song is definitely. It it sets the tone. It's like you know, I'm thinking too, like with with my movie and stuff that I'm you know working on. I'm like, man, the ending song is like, you know, it's probably not something a lot of people think about, but it's like, yeah, what are you, yeah, what are you gonna leave people with? What are you gonna, what kind of movie are you gonna leave them in? Yeah, like, how am I gonna leave? Am I gonna leave sad? Am I gonna leave you confused? <laughs> am I gonna leave them happy? You know, there's there's a few yeah. ways you can do it, and it's like, I think it all depends on how you end up editing. It. Right. You know, so it's, and you know, I, I don't know. We'll just see what happens, I guess. And I like, I like where he's making PB and did the screwdriver since Jerry and I did that. That was, <laughs> yeah. that was one thing we didn't show in the video. I have it on video. I have to post it sometime. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's definitely but, uh, good, good B-roll. Yeah, absolutely, man. It was just absolutely hilarious, though. Um, yeah, man. That's, yeah, I'm partial to fish eye shots, as, as we all know. I wonder and, how uh, fish eye because... He's still shooting with film. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I gotta look into that because that's something. I don't know, I'm very intrigued by that. This part is hilarious too. I love this part. This, this, I've always liked motorcycles being in places they're not supposed to be. Yep. 
<laughs> and this part's so cool. I just love it. He just chugs coffee and then rides out. You know, it's it's Guy Perret. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a double, <laughs> cap, <laughs> I need a double cap. Legend. Quick. Legend. Legend. Just, left, left just side rides kid. out. Look at this fool on the bicycle. He's like, what is going on? I think it's like an old school KTM. I don't know what the hell it is, dude. I was yeah, that was that was long before KTM was the Ryan Dungey winning championships. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so I just finished up thirty four yep. minutes thirty eight seconds. What are your thoughts? Any closing notes? Um, short, short and sweet. I think if you, uh, I think I like this video more if they sh make the uh, trials part shorter and the hill climb part shorter. But I, totally agree with you. I do like that they expose some different riding types. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's a good video. It's not my favorite video. It's it's good, and it fits the, the time period, you know? Um, and it, it you can tell that it's a different filmer. There's definitely different influence on it than the first three videos. So um, I think it's, you know, natural progression, you know? You're going to change, change filmers, you're going to get a different flavor. So mm -hmm. uh, it's good to have options, and it's good to, good to see that... Fox was willing to uh, take those risks, I guess, and step outside of what they did for the first year. I would totally back that statement, man. I mean, uh, to go off of that, I would say it's short, but it keeps you wanting more. It keeps you wanting going, okay, when's number five coming? You know, yeah, like, right. they, they, they included, they tried some new things. You know, like I was saying, they had, you know, they had Mike Metzger on a BMX plug. They had Tex, the snowboard crazy guy going down the freaking <laughs> mountain, you know. like hey, they We had, all need a Tex in our life. They, dude, absolutely. They had zero racing in here, which I loved. The only racing yeah. scene I saw was at the beginning where they had the Gatorback National where everybody piled up. And yep, a little track. bit of mud clips, yeah, some mudder, yeah, some some mudder mud clips. clips. Yeah. Um, high Point, 97. That's yeah, that Bradshaw. Was. Bradshaw. Yes, sir. I was just about to say, you know, I saw the kid with the cooler. Clearly, they were, uh, I'm putting two and two together. They were probably taking that cooler and sliding down a hill with it at some point. <laughs> you know? That's yeah, where my mind point, goes when I see shit like dude, that. High Point was wild back in the day. Did you ever go or no? Um, I started going around 2001. I went, I think, 01 or 02 all the way to 07. I went every year to High Point in Steel City. Dude, you saw it at, like, some of the most prime years. Oh, yeah. I watched Carmichael. Carmichael come through. It was a perfect season. Stewart's first year on a 252 stroke. Um, yeah, definitely. Um it's definitely a good scene over here in that regard. Um, so, yeah, my dad didn't want to go to High Point for the longest time because um, there's a guy from Ohio that was there racing Amateur Day, and his van, like, he was out in the pits, and they rolled his van over and lit his van on fire, like, partying, like, gnarly, dude, super gnarly. So really? We, yeah, so we didn't go to High Point for a few years. My dad was like, I'm not getting my shit rolled over and lit on fire. You're just a kid. Like, you don't listen, see that. <laughs> he's like, I love that van, all right? And if you think, then I'm going to go down there and have those motherfuckers roll that thing over. You got another exactly. thing coming. Exactly. God, man. Yeah. All right, man. I mean, which, which one do you think is next is the real question. Ooh, I want to do yeah, – I want to do – I want to mix it up. I want to get off the terra firma. I want to do either Steel Roots or Wrathchild. Wrathchild's still a Fox video. But I yep. think Steel Roots, I think it's time. I think it's time for some Steel Roots. Do you want to do number one or number two? Um, let's just keep it in order. Let's just do number one. Okay, number one works for me, brother. So I, I guess right. we will uh, we'll rendezvous and we'll figure out a time and we will uh, go for episode three. Yeah, shit, fool. I'm not going to be doing much next week after surgery, so um, I'll I'll watch it and take some notes and we'll we'll set it up. All right, brother. We'll sound good. We will uh, we'll take some notes. We'll rendezvous and we'll figure it out. All right, buddy. Talk soon. Hey. See ya. All right, brother. Bud. See. Ya.